Hey friends, it's Carla here, and today we are looking at decorating some paint pots for the Canvas Court Brands blog. There are lots of creative ideas, and I thought I would take a terracotta pot and uh, repurpose it with the naturally aged paint system. This is the bare metal in the weathered bronze. This works beautifully on lots of surfaces. Um, but I thought I would try it on the terracotta. So we're following the instructions. These come as a kit of four uh, mists and paints and the directions are given to create this look. So you start by step one, you uh, take the butternut squash glimmer mist and you're going to mist completely over whatever surface you're working on. And you can see here when I hold it up to the light, what a gorgeous shimmer that mica glitter has. So I've just misted it lightly all over and you can definitely get more um, glimmer or color just by adding more. And I always use a wipe to wipe off the nozzle. Step two is without waiting for that to dry, we're gonna take our woven burlap mist and we're going to start going over parts but not all. Now I wanted to show you this, the um, mister, the edge of it, I needed to wipe off a little bit and then it worked perfectly. And here I'm just misting areas but we still want to leave that butternut squash um, mist to show through. Step three, we're going to take our next tattered leather mix or mist and we are going to spray uh, in areas overlapping some of it. You can see how when you see that mica at the bottom you know that it's not mixed. And here I'm trying to mist it, it's not really working so all I did was add, I ran the nozzle under uh, a tiny bit of running water, left it for one minute with the cover on, and you can see it's misting perfectly now. Um, so these, I haven't had um, any problem with these as long as I wipe them off, and uh, if I, there's any bit of stickiness, I just run a little bit of water and then wipe them again and they seem good to go. So we're just uh, misting that in uh, areas that uh, weren't covered before by the, the brown that we used. And now we've got a little bit of this cowboy glaze. And I really like to mix this up. It's a little bit thicker paint and it has um, lots of shimmer in it. So I mixed it up with just an old chopstick. And then the directions say to add it to the tattered leather and just mix those a bit. And then I'm uh, painting and flicking it on just to give some color and dimension to this project. So because we have terracotta layer underneath, you're going to get a different effect than you would on a white surface. Um, I like both of those, I have tried those before, and uh, this is just a different surface to try it on. It looks really cool. The glazes are really neat, uh, Glimmer Glams and Glaze, just because uh, when you heat them, they bubble up. We're also getting a little bit of a different effect with these products because the terracotta is so uh, porous, so it's really absorbing in that paint. Um, which is not a bad thing, it's just a different effect. So adding these colors on, you can see the beautiful layers of shimmer coming out. The mists and the glaze are dripping a bit, which is really cool. And it just gives such a really, really neat look to this pot. And uh, just dresses it up, gives it a little bit of a vintage look. And adds really cool dimension to it. So it's really not hard to get this effect. It's very quick 
and then our last step is to take that butternut squash mist again and we're going to spray right over and the steps are very clear there's several of these naturally aged paint system kits in the canvas court brand shop um, this is a tattered angels product and they all have very clear instructions and uh, even when you're not using them to make these effects you can use the mists on their own or with other products as well and uh, then just pull out your instructions when you want to create a certain effect. I really really love how this turned out. You can let this dry or you can use your heat gun. I decided to grab some Times Square Glimmer Glam. This is not in the kit. This is just from my own paint stash and just add some blobs of it on because I really like the dimension and the texture that it adds especially when you heat it with the heat gun. So I'm just misting it a little bit with this butternut squash again to soften it and then I heat it and it just slightly bubbles. So just really cool and there's lots of glimmer in that Times Square Glimmer Glam. Now we've got some gold, Golden Goddess Glimmer Glam and it's a glaze paint and it has just this beautiful uh, shimmer to it because it's got lots of glimmer in it. So I'm just painting around the top edge of the pot to just add a really neat gold ring around the top. And I'm taking my heat gun and just drying it lightly, but again, you could just wait. You can see how beautiful that all is together and how shiny in the light. Now I went to my uh, cricket area and I cut out a little cactus as well as some vinyl and I attached the vinyl on to the pot and I'm just taking a piece of styrofoam that I've cut it was actually in a cone shape I painted it with some craft high impact paint and I wanted to add a little bit of a sand effect so I've got the Emerald Creek Craft Supplies um, dirty sand baked texture embossing powder this is by Seth Apter and I'm not going to emboss it I'm simply going to leave it as the sand look and this will be really neat with the cactus so this cactus is just cut from a Cricut cartridge and I'm folding it according to the directions. It's really easy to put together. And you're just going to uh, just glue those together uh, in a round fashion. And before I glue them all together, I'm just adding some Distress ink to the edges just to add a little bit of color and uh, because it's the oxide inks the lighter green shows up really nice on the two uh, green colors that go around inside the spiky parts so i'm just really quickly showing you how this goes together there are tutorials online and i will add in the comments below what the cartridge is for this cactus as well as the free hugs vinyl that I had cut and just by gluing each part and layering them together we're going to get a round cactus effect so very easy and simple but it looks really cute now I'm taking some matte medium by Ranger and I'm just gluing on some sequins and then I'm going to put a pretty flower here the flowers uh, by Prima and just decorate that cactus. I have the Times Square Glimmer Glam again and I'm just painting this cork butterfly and it still leaves it a neutral color but it really adds some shine to it and you can see how that Glimmer Glam just bubbles and looks really cool. So I'm adding that. It's really nice and shiny now 
And then we're going to go ahead and add some sequins on. These are pretty pink posh sequins. And then I'm going to add some more sequin mixes from buttons galore and more. And then my little butterflies all ready. I'm adding a few more sequins on, just some stars to the pot, just to finish decorating that. And these are all supplies that you could use in your scrapbooking and card making, but they're also perfect to decorate your home with as well. So just added a little bit of hot glue there and glued my cactus on and the butterfly onto a little metal wire piece that I've stuck into the styrofoam. And you can see how cute this is and how much glimmer there is when you turn that in the light. Grabbed some cord here from Canvas Corp and I'm just adding a little bit of the uh, it's just a hemp twine or a jute rope and I'm just tied that around the edge there just for a little bit more embellishment. So that's a look at the painted pot. I will also link below where you can find all the other design teams projects where they've also decorated plant pots and there's just some wonderful ideas for using some Tattered Angels products. So thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you have an awesome day and I'd love for you to like and subscribe.